Well, finally, I'm online. Hi, everyone. Uh, we're just connecting to the online lesson. Yeah, I hope everything is okay and everything is working fine. So I see that we have some people online. Hi, everyone. So we are just preparing in one minute and we'll begin the lesson. So um, now I just want you to write something in the comment section. Is everything is visible on the screen? And if the sound is OK, just write some comments and I will understand that everything is OK and I can continue. So I'll just check the uh, comments here. Yes. Well, yeah, I have everything. Uh, OK. So, yeah, hope everything is working on your side as well. So, okay, so I think uh, we can start with our lesson today. And just in one moment. So, whether you are online now on the live uh, online lesson, you can write something in the comment section. Maybe uh, where are you from? I live in Turkey, in Antalya. And uh, maybe if you are a beginner or whether you are a professional artist or maybe you want just to start drawing, just write something in the comment section and I will know if uh, you are a beginner or if you are a person who is willing to know the watercolor sketching style. And of course, um, just comment something. Is everything OK with the uh, screen and with the sound? So um, today we have a live lesson online and we will draw the beautiful flower Dahlia. I hope that you have prepared all the materials that you need. So we'll draw in watercolor sketching style and you need the watercolor paper, of course, the watercolor, the brushes, the pencil, uh, waterproof black liner or maybe waterproof ballpoint pen. And then uh, we need the eraser to erase the pencil afterwards. And of course, we need the glass of water, palette, napkins and uh, the white gel pen. So if you don't have the white gel pen, it's OK. You can use the white gouache instead or maybe the white acrylic paint as well. That's OK. Oh, I see the first comment. <laughs> Hi, my, I'm a beginner uh, from Victoria, Canada. Oh, that's great. So I hope you will like the video today. You'll you'll like the uh, lesson that uh, we will do. And just in one minute, I will uh, switch to the other screen. Please write something. Is everything OK? So now we are watching the um, free demo lesson, Dahlia. And today, of course, I will present you after the lesson uh, my subscription on Patreon for August. So. And of course, I will tell the details about the Patreon subscription after the lesson, after we draw the Dahlia. So, OK, I'm just waiting for one more minute and we can begin. And first of all, I want to share the um, time and organization points just some of them about our lessons. So what about their duration? I think it will be about an hour, maybe a half and maybe two hours. I don't know yet. It is actually the first time that I'm making the live uh, lesson like this on YouTube and I will, uh, I will answer them uh, maybe during the lesson or maybe the after um, the whole presentation and after the lesson itself. So I think we can begin. Um, I see that people are join, uh, joining the uh, live lesson. So let's go on. 
Uh, my name is Anastasia Kozlova. I'm an artist and art teacher and a co-founder of the Dream and Draw Art School. My teaching experience is more than 10 years and of course uh, my education is fine art teacher. And I have a personal challenge for five years. I draw, uh, well, actually I am drawing right now uh, as well. One day, one sketch. It, it is a really interesting challenge and I hope you like the watercolor sketching because the watercolor sketching style is perfect for everyday drawing. And I am the author of the seven art courses and 33 marathons and I'm an art blogger. So that's me. I hope we can uh, become friends <laughs> and of course um, we can um, um, develop the watercolor sketching style together on the internet or the worldwide. And, of course, I want to tell you a bit about the watercolor sketching style. I know that people can draw in watercolor style or maybe in academic watercolor or maybe in just sketching style with liner or with just ballpoint pen. But here we are talking about the watercolor sketching style. And I want to tell you just fewer details about this beautiful style. So, what is watercolor sketching style? Watercolor sketching is a style of graphic drawings with watercolor usage and some stylization. So, uh, there are no strict rules in watercolor sketching and that is why I think it is the perfect style for beginners to uh, start drawing, to become an artist even sometimes. Uh, because it's easy, it's uh, bright, colorful, and I think it has some kind of art uh, therapeutic um, issue. So I really love the watercolor sketching style. And you don't need uh, lots of professional materials to start drawing. That's why watercolor sketching style is my favorite style. So. I think that we can go on and we can now draw. So I hope you have prepared all the materials that you need for the lesson. Let me repeat the materials that we need. Of course, it's the watercolor, watercolor paper, like a square format. And we need the pencil, the eraser, the uh, waterproof black liner, or maybe the waterproof ballpoint pen. Then, of course, the watercolor set. Actually, you can use well any watercolor that you have. Maybe it will be the uh, kids watercolor set, or maybe students ones, or professional watercolor set. It's okay. Then, of course, we need two brushes, the uh, bigger one and the smaller one, the palette, glass of water, napkins and a uh, white gel pen. So, and of course, if you don't have the white gel pen, it's okay to use the white gouache or white acrylic paint. So, now I will switch to the video and we can start the first steps in the lesson okay so uh, please write uh, something in the comment section is everything okay on the video on the screen um, so I have the first page of my <laughs> um, lesson now and I hope everything is visible so just comment something maybe uh, your maybe a plus or maybe a number one, figure one, just write something and um, I will understand that I can continue. So, yeah, everything is ready. And I'm just waiting for your comment and I will begin. So for now, I will just um, repeat the uh, most important things about the materials on the video it's the square uh, watercolor paper of course paints erasers glass of water again napkins two brushes palettes and 
So everything that you see on the video uh, right now. And of course, uh, as for the pencil drawing, we are of course starting with the pencil. I will press the pencil down hard on my paper so you'll see the drawing better on the video. But you don't have to press on your pencil that hard as I will do uh, because it will be harder for you to erase it afterwards. So of course, we will um, start with the lines that we actually always do. So the lines that divide the paper into two parts, the vertical line and the uh, horizontal line. Then we put dots on the same direction in the center. So we have the same um, length from the left side and from the right side and the same for the vertical line. So these points are for the circles uh, that we are going to draw. And the, fir the first circle is like this. It's not that big. And inside this first circle, we are making the next. And it should be smaller, of course. And the third circle we are drawing now is bigger than the two ones, the first two ones like this. The circle doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay that you have some maybe wavy lines or maybe uh, uh, some kind of uh, directions, different directions. Uh, mm, that's okay. So, and we are making a little zigzag line on the first circle inside to form the center of our future flower. So that's really easy. And then we are making more inside, making more details again, a little circle inside again with these zigzag lines and little circles inside the fourth circle that we have done right now. So we have the uh, drawing right now for the center part of our future flower. We have the, I don't know, maybe some details there, maybe some uh, stamens or something <laughs> going there. And the zigzag line for the first circle and for the uh, smaller one inside is okay and perfect that it can be different from my drawing. You can draw a bit differently and that's okay. Um, yeah, hi Anastasia. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you, uh, you will like the lesson and that you can draw together with me right now. So now we are moving on to the next step. And of course, we need to draw the first um, layer of the petals. Right now, you see that we have the, well, actually we have lots of petals and we have the first layer of the smallest petals. And the first thing we are doing now is that we are making the lines for the direction of these petals. So like a sunlight, <laughs> um, something for the direction of these petals. And of course, now let's draw the lines to form the petals. And I'm making the lines like a, a small drops with a wavy lines and they can be really different. So just feel free, um, use your uh, hand and make the lines as different as you can. So actually they are looking like a small drops, but with a wavy contour like this and of course i'm trying to make them as different as i can because uh, when we have the same petals or the same lines on the flower or maybe on some other nature things um, it's not that interesting to watch on the sketch and when we are trying to make different lines and add some diversity it is really interesting 
So the first layer is done and now we are moving on to the next, to the bigger petals. And of course I'm making the lines uh, like uh, directions for these petals as well. So I make two uh, above, two uh, at the bottom and then the uh, lines for the side petals as well, like this. So I also made one line for the green leaf as well uh, from the left side. And the same thing I'm doing right now for the big petals, uh, for the pink petals that, uh, that we will draw afterwards. Uh, they are also looking like the um, drops and they have also like a wavy line, but not that wavy as the smaller petals. So you can see my drawing on the uh, left side and you can see that, yeah, I have some kind of a wavy line, but it's not that um, different like the uh, line that we have made on the uh, smallest petals. So just like drops, again, just draw some uh, form, maybe uh, you can start with an oval form and then you can uh, make the point a bit smaller to form a drop shape like this and maybe some wavy details on the top of the petals so i'm making the next petal again here on the right side and some petals are above others like layering they are doing the layer thing so we have one petal above and another petal underneath and that's okay that's a really natural thing if you do this uh, on your sketch so we are moving on and here let's make the a petal as well like a drop form but I'm making a little wavy line on the top of this petal you see I want to draw a little twist or maybe a fold right now so I'm making not just one line on the petal but two lines and uh, right now I'm going to uh, make the same thing on this petal so you see I'm making a wavy line like this okay and then i'm adding one line here at the bottom and one line here at the top to form the fold on the petal like this so if it is difficult uh, right now for you to make the fold or to make the twist on the petal it's okay you can just draw this simple petal uh, like we have uh, drawn before so just make the petal like a drop in a drop form and uh, that will be okay. So I'm just making the lines uh, to form the beautiful uh, petal shape here. And of course, I want to add some lines for the veins. Now I'm adding two or maybe three lines inside each petal to form the veins or maybe to form the beautiful shape. Uh, inside the petals and of course i want to make uh, two leaves here the first leaf will be on the left side and the contour line here is again i'm making like a zigzag line like a zigzag contouring here again for a beautiful and natural look of the leaf i have the central vein here and i have the side veins as well and one more leaf here again i'm making it just like a drop <laughs> so everything is in a drop shape and the a zigzag contour the veins inside the leaf the central vein and the side veins as well so the pencil drawing yeah it's done and now we are moving on to the outline and I will wait a bit, of course, for you. So I think that we should stop a bit for just maybe one minute. And please uh, write something in this section, in the comment section. Um, uh, when you are done with this step, uh, just write something, maybe the number two, 
then I will understand that we can continue. So I'm pausing the video right now and I'm doing nothing there and I hope that you are keeping up. And when you are ready with the pencil, just write the number two in the comment section. Yeah, I see that we are <laughs> waiting for some people and I want to say that if you are a beginner or if you are just maybe uh, willing to start drawing and if you are not keeping up right now, that's okay. Of course, we will send you the record of this video and you can repeat this lesson with me again, maybe tomorrow or maybe the next day. So that's okay. <laughs> You're not uh, drawing perfectly as well because everything um, is difficult at the beginning, at the start. And I believe that everyone can draw especially if you have lots of practice so everything is about practice in drawing actually so yeah yeah um yeah i see the second uh the number two and the next um comment <laughs> keep calm i'm here and uh, can hear you yeah but i'm at work and can't draw together your lessons are meditation well thank you very much i love the meditation as well i love the process of drawing and uh well my drawings yeah they are some kind of <laughs> meditation for me as well and i'm really glad that you love my lesson and they are like a meditation for you as well so uh, let's continue and of course I want to remind you that before making the outline uh, with your liner or with your ballpoint pen just check whether it is waterproof or not you can write something on a separate sheet of paper as I usually uh, ask in my videos and my video tutorials and apply the wet brush and you will see is it waterproof or not and if it is not waterproof if you see some uh, black splashes or black uh, lines or everything <laughs> became black that means that your liner is not waterproof and you need to make the outline after the watercolor step so i will use the uh, liner from pigma micron mm, this one and of course, we are starting with the central part of the flower. And again, I'm making a zigzag line or maybe a bit wavy line here to show the details inside the flower. And we have the circles inside the center as well. And I'm just making um, lines, a bit maybe interrupted lines. It's not just the simple line that I'm doing right now. And of course, I'm adding some lines, dots and other uh, well, hatches inside the flower to show the texture. And of course, I'm making the outline of the circles, of the small circles inside the center as well, like this. And we can also add the lines on the small petals right now. So I'm also making the line inside each small petal like a central vein or maybe the fold or something like this. So I'm just repeating the pencil drawing that I have. And I try to make my hand really free and loose. So if I'm not repeating the pencil exactly, that's okay. And I'm continuing making the outline on the small petals right now, like this. And I'm making some dark lines inside the center between the small circles that we have here. For the shadow, of course. We need to make the shadows, that's why we are making the um, dark lines inside. And now let's move on to the outline of the big petals as well. And here I'm trying to make a bit of the wavy line on the top of the petals like this. We so see I'm just adding like a letter or maybe just some wavy line. 
extra so I don't have it on the pencil drawing and I'm just adding it right now and of course the falls here then the leaf at the bottom the veins as well then we are moving on and making the outline of the next petal and the last one and of course the fold here the twist the fold well you can use any word but i love the <laughs> the effect so uh, now i'm making the lines for the veins inside each petal and i'm trying to make the lines not that clearly visible they should be a bit um less visible like the not not like the petals actually and of course the leaf and the central vein and the side veins as well like this okay so i think the flower looks great already and i'm just erasing the pencil with a kneadable eraser a kneadable eraser it is an eraser that is carefully uh, taking off the pencil from the paper and if you don't have the kneadable eraser just use your regular eraser or rubber <laughs> uh, to um, take off the pencil from the paper just use it really carefully in order not to damage the watercolor paper so and of course we are moving on to the watercolor step and i will just again pause my video a bit for one minute so again i'm just asking you to write the number three maybe for the next step if you are ready with the outlining and if you are ready we can continue making the watercolor layering watercolor flat washes so just write number three or maybe any other comments or maybe you have some question just write and i will understand uh, whether you are ready or not <laughs> my cat is just <laughs> going everywhere <laughs> right now <laughs> can i have her can i please have my cat yeah 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 i'll show you my cat right now <laughs> <laughs> she's black <laughs> and she wants to draw as well but maybe not <laughs> so i'm just waiting for your comments and we can continue just write something or maybe the number three and we'll continue with the watercolor when you're ready just write something and i will understand Okay, you can go. Okay, go. <laughs> so, um, well, the watercolor, of course, before making the watercolor um, thing uh, and watercolor step, I will add some water on my palette. And of course, I will add some water on each pan, on each color that I will use. So it will be, well, easier for us to pick the color and it will be easy for us to mix the color on the palette if we add some water before picking the color before making some mix no before making the mixing and before coloring the sketch itself yeah well uh, so i see the number three and we can continue so uh, the first thing we will do of course is the central part of the flower and that's why we need the yellow color and the orange color as well so my yellow color will be the lemon yellow so the first yellow color and i'm just adding the yellow color on the palette so you can see it the first color is like this really very bright yellow color and of course the orange color and i'm just mixing a bit uh the yellow color and the other or the yellow or the orange color together on the palette so uh the color that i have on my brush right now is some kind of a yellowish orangey color some middle color i'm using it for the central part I'm applying it with the tapping motions 
and I'm trying to leave some white areas as well inside the center of the flower and sometimes I'm using a bit more of the yellow color and sometimes I'm using more of the orange color so we need to make some beautiful transitions from one color to another color inside the flower center yeah like this and you see I have some white areas as well because I need to uh, central part of the flower to be not that covered I need to add some airy look some sketchy look as well so I'm adding a bit of the orange color inside the central part of the flower and that's it I think that's enough actually for the central part so now I will pick the next color and this one is green so I have just a um, simple green color and if you don't have this same green color on your palette you can uh, just mix it you can use any green color and add a bit of a yellow and mix them together and you will get well maybe the same color that I will use on my sketch and of course I will mix the green color with water I want to make it as light as possible so I'm mixing it with water and of course with the yellow color and I have some kind of a yellowish greenish color mixed with water light for the small petals and I'm using it on the half on, on the half part of the petal not for the whole petal but only for the part that is closer to the central part of the flower and the top part of the petals um, they are white you can see it I'm not that I'm not covering the whole petal then I'm just cleaning my brush with water and I'm just get um, the extra water on the napkin and I'm making the transition to the white paper so I have the green part on this petal and I need to make just a simple transition to the white like this so I'm just diluting with water a bit to make a beautiful shades of green and maybe a bit uh, lighter green color on these petals so that's okay and now we'll mix the color for the big petals of course and my first color is pink color and it is called Kunakridon red color if you don't have exactly the same color it's okay you can use maybe any red color or any rose or pink color that you have maybe you can use the carmine color or maybe the conacridone rose as well um, any pink any um, rose color will do so and i'm mixing the pink color with the red and orange color that i have on my palette already so i have the color that looks like maybe coral color uh, and a mixture of the yellow and pink i have on my palette on the left side and the first color that i'm using is this one so it is the mixture of the pink color and orange color so and of course i will begin with the big petals and again i'm making the first strokes on the area that is closer to the central part again and I'm adding a bit of the pink color as well yeah so <laughs> and then the next step I'm just diluting the color with water and I'm making the transition from the bright color to the light color and the same thing on the next petals but I will skip one petal here on the right side and I will continue with the next petal uh, because I just don't want to uh, well the color just mixed together I just want to make the petals separately uh, one from each other 
So and again the same technique. So I'm adding the bright color to the area that is closer to the center. Then I'm adding a bit of the pink color, maybe even orange color. And then of course I'm making the transition from the bright color to the light color on this area. I'm using only my brush and I'm using only some water to make this beautiful transition. So, and again, the next, I'm skipping again, the next petal, and I'm making the dark part, the dark bright part on this area, closer to the center, and then I'm just picking the wet brush only with water, and I'm making the transition to the lighter part here on this area. And of course, if you have some extra water on your petals, just use your brush and uh, use your napkin to get rid of extra water uh, because we need to make the wash on the petals really flat and beautiful. So just take your time and get the extra water off the paper with your brush. So um, now, of course, we are moving on and we can make the other petals as well and I will make them well, using the same technique actually and now we are moving on to the top petal here because the left petal and the right petal is already dry that's why I can continue making this one so the same thing actually, I'm adding the dark bright color, either is pink or maybe mixed with the orange color and then I'm just diluting it with water and making a smooth transition to the lighter pink color. And the same thing here. So I really love this technique for the petals and if you practice a bit more, I think that you will get the beautiful transitions as well. So you see that I'm just cleaning my brush with the napkin and I'm taking off the extra water that I have on the palette, or on the paper. So this petal I'm doing right now and I'm adding the bright color as well on this area. Then I'm cleaning my brush using the napkin and adding the light pink color on this area like this and of course I'm taking off the extra water again using the napkin <laughs> so the napkins are really important for the watercolor sketching and now the last petal I'm doing now again I'm just adding the dark bright pink color then I'm cleaning my brush and using only um, water and wet brush I'm making the transition here and I'm taking off the extra paint and extra water of course so great the first layer is done and now let's make the next part and I will do the leaves that we have here we need the green color and I'm mixing the green with the yellow so, but I will wait a bit, uh, maybe for one minute right now, and I see that somebody is uh, drawing with me right now, and please just, again, write the number, uh, maybe the four, yeah, it is four, if you are ready with this step. Uh, because I want to explain the next step uh, in details, of course, and I want you to um, be prepared and I want you to complete the previous step, of course. So I'm just waiting a bit and please, if you are ready, just write the four, well, the four figure, the four number in the comment section. And while I'm waiting, I'm just, well, I will just drink some water, of course. Okay. So if you are ready, we can continue. Yeah, I'm just waiting for some comments and then uh, 
we will go on to the next step. So for now, I can explain some mixing that we are going to do. Of course, we need the green color, we need the yellow color to mix the bright uh, yellowish green color for the leaves. And then I will add, of course, the dark green color for the shadows and I will use the uh, blue color uh, mixed with the green uh, to make a beautiful shadows on the leaves and of course you can use any blue color that you have on your watercolor uh, set and I'm using uh, mostly the ultramarine color ultramarine blue for the uh, mixing so okay I'll wait a bit just maybe some more seconds and then we can continue so now I'm just making the back remote a bit. Yeah, like this. So you see every color that I'm using on the sketch, I'm pre-mixing on the palette. And this is a great thing actually, because when you need to make the uh, quick strokes, uh, quick uh, movements on your sketch, uh, it is great to have them prepared already on your palette that's why i'm using the palette um, well every time and i'm teaching my students also to uh, make the preparation of every mixture that you need on the palette and here i'm just mixing the light green color i have used the uh, green that i have just a simple green and a bit of the yellow color Okay, so yeah, I have I have one comment with the number four, and we can continue. So uh, you see that I have the yellowish green color on my palette, and I'm starting with this point, with the um, top of the leaf with the light green color, and then of course I'm mixing the green color a bit with the pink. So why pink? You may ask. You can ask me. Uh, well, the pink color we need here for some uh, harmony, uh, we um, need for the beautiful shades and beautiful colors on the sketch, especially when we draw some natural things. And of course, then we mix the dark green color. I'm mixing, I'm mixing uh, the dark green with the ultramarine color. And I'm adding the dark green color on the area uh, that is closer to the center. And I'm making one line below the leaf, well, at the bottom of the leaf uh, with the dark green color as well to make beautiful shadows. And the next leaf, of course, the same thing. I'm making the light green color, maybe some more yellowish greenish color here at the uh, bottom here. Then I'm adding some pink color for the harmony, for the color harmony, of course. And then I'm mixing the dark green color with the ultramarine. So I'm adding the ultramarine on my palette and I mix uh, it with the green color that I have. So the dark green is done, yeah, and the same thing, I'm just adding the dark stroke here at the bottom of this leaf, like a silhouette, but only on this area. So uh, now uh, we should wait a bit uh, for the sketch to be completely dry why we need to do this because uh, on this step we are making the second layer on the petals on the pink petals for the veins for the shadows and we need to wait a bit so um, i think that your petal petals are also dry for now because we have done the leaves just a moment ago so just check your pink petals are they okay are they dry <laughs> and then we can make the second layer and of course i'm making the bright pink color for this step you see that i'm using the same pink color it is the conacridone red color of course and i'm going to mix 
uh, this color with the violet so yeah i'm using just a simple violet color you can use any violet that you have on your palette and i'm making the mixture on my palette you see i'm mixing the uh, pink color and i'm mixing the violet color and i'm mixing some kind of a middle shade a middle tone for the beautiful transitions inside the petals of course so i will use uh, the purple color i will use the pink color and i will use the middle color that we have right now so i'm using this small brush and i'm adding some pink uh, violet purple color inside the petal and again i'm adding the dark parts uh, dark strokes and dark lines to show the veins so you see i'm adding them on the petal and the darkest part is the part that is closer to the center but the top part of the petal is still light so i'm trying to make the shadows um, on the petals uh, on the area that is closer to the center so the central part of the flower should be always dark uh, that is the way that will make the flower look like a three-dimensional flower. So, and of course, the same thing on the other petals. I'm just adding some shadows on the area that is closer to the center. And then I'm making some lines to show the veins. And if you need to make the lines a bit lighter, you can uh, mix it with water. So... I'm adding the dark lines but then I'm cleaning my brush and with the wet brush I'm just making the transitions I'm making some uh, extra lines to form the sense of veins to form maybe the sense of the folds or maybe some other uh, texture so we are making the dark strokes and then we clean the brush with water we are using a napkin and only with a wet brush we are making some extra lines and you see how they are really um, natural looking with this technique only using the wet brush so again i'm adding the dark color i'm adding the dark veins dark lines on the petal well i'm using of course the purple color as well then i'm just cleaning my brush and with the wet brush i'm making some extra lines and we can get the sense of a beautiful veins beautiful natural veins so i'm adding a bit more to the central part of course then we are moving on to the uh, petal that we have fold on and here i'm making the dark part on the um, bottom part of the petal so on this area exactly this area should be dark and then of course we are we are adding the dark um, lines to the central part of the petal we are making the veins but we are not touching this dark area right now that we have under the fold we are not making anything there but exactly on the uh, top part of the fold we make the same technique so we add some well veins some lines and make the beautiful transition to the lighter strokes like this so the bottom part of the fold should be always dark okay and then the next petal the same thing i'm just adding a dark color cleaning my brush and only with a wet brush and water i'm making the transitions like this i'm making the quick strokes quick motions so you can see that they are really natural looking because of the fast movements of course 
So the same thing here on this area and here again we are having the fold or the twist on the petal and the uh, top part of the fold should be also with the veins like this but try not to make it that dark try just to add some lines like veins and that's all okay so actually we are moving on yeah we have just maybe um, five minutes left uh, for the lesson and the next step we are doing now is the central part i want to add some shadows inside the center as well and i'm using the red color i'm mixing it with the pink color that i already have on my palette and i'm just adding some um, mixed color red with pink i'm just add this color with my brush on the central part like this Again, just with the tapping motions like this. So only tapping motions to make uh, the sense of details, maybe summons or maybe something else there inside uh, the central part, of course, like this. I'm trying to make the inner circle darker a bit, but only a bit. So, well, Finally, we are done with the watercolor step. Well, so again, I will wait a bit, uh, maybe for one minute for you to um, uh, finish this part. And then we can uh, again wait a bit for a bit for the sketch to be dry. We need, uh, we need it uh, to be completely dry. And then we can make some details. We'll make the details with the white gel pen and of course with the black liner as well. So, uh, yeah, I have one question. Yeah, I have to go to an appointment. Uh, will this be available for me to watch later? Yeah, of course, you can watch it uh, maybe in two hours or maybe tomorrow, I think. It will be ready and of course you can watch and draw um, a bit later. That's okay, that's okay. So, of course, uh, we'll uh, send the uh, record to the uh, students, to our students. So, okay. So, uh, if you are ready for the next step, we can continue. And again, we need the black liner and we need the white gel pen. And of course, I want to remind you that you, if you don't have the white gel pen, it's okay. You can use the white gouache or white acrylic paints, but just use the uh, really tiny, tiny brush, <laughs> the smallest brush that you have, uh, because we'll need to make the small details with the white gel pen, uh, or if you have the white acrylic paint or white gouache paint, you need the same, uh, you need the tiny, tiny, tiny thing, the tiny brush that you have, the tiniest brush that you have. So for the beautiful, uh, um, narrow, narrow, tiny lines on the petals. Okay, so I think we can continue because the central part and the veins should be already dry. And the first thing we are doing with the black liner, we are adding some dark lines on the petals, of course. So the lines should be darker a bit. I'm just adding some lines for the veins and I'm making some lines uh, on the contour of each petal. I'm making them a bit darker. So uh, the, uh, the thing on this part, on this step, is to make our sketch uh, a bit more contrasty. So we need to make uh, more shadows on the one hand and we need to make more highlight highlights on the other hand. And now we are adding the shadows. So I'm adding some dark do dots, some dark lines on the petals like this. I'm trying to make them as quick as possible to make a quick motion 
for the veins and if we are making the line of the petal a bit darker I'm trying to make the line as uh, smooth as I can so on some areas on some uh, parts I'm making the lines the contour of the petal a bit darker like this and of course the veins and you see the veins lines they are going from the central part of the flower to the side part like this and the lines are light they are not that dark try to make them as quickly as you can to make the beautiful and natural looking lines and of course I want to make the smaller petals a bit contrasty as well that's why I'm adding some lines on the small petals I'm trying to make the contour a bit darker like this and I'm adding more veins on this little petals as well and maybe some lines on the uh, top parts on the side parts of the petals so now they are really contrasty and dark and interesting and inside the central part I'm just adding some dots between the circles that we have on the central part then I'm making the lines darker on the leaves so we have done already one line one dark line with the watercolor but I'm adding also the dark line with the liner as well and of course the last lines I want to add on the petals on the top part of each petal just like one dot to make it again a bit more contrasty and of course now I'm picking up the white gel pen and I'm adding the white dots on the circles inside the central part of the flower like this not between the circles but on the circles that we have in the central part and of course on the petals so uh, we have done the contour with the liner with the dark lines and inside the petals inside the petals we need to add some more light lines again but so we are making again the contour but inside the petals so like this inside we are making them more elegant maybe more gentle with this technique so the last lines the last details here on this area and on this petal as well on the folds also on the folds so add white lines on the folds and of course on the leaves on the contouring of the leaf on the vein and if you have the if you have too much of the white gel pen or if you have too much of the white gouache or white acrylic paint you can actually remove the white gel pen uh, with your finger just take off the extra pigment from the paper and of course the same thing uh, for the white gouache or white acrylic paint just make sure you are quick enough to remove the extra white paints the extra white pigment uh, before it is completely dry especially for the acrylic paint so and of course you can uh, add more color right above the white pen or maybe white acrylic paint or maybe white gouache so if you have too much of the white uh, lines of white strokes you can just make the color again so you can make the green color again right above the white gel pen and you can make the uh, pink color right above the white color that you have so it's not a problem that's okay and of course for now we are done actually with our painting with our sketch and the last thing I need to do here is to put a signature of course so I'll put my signature here on the right area 
and our sketch is ready yay so it's done uh we are um done with the sketch and i'm i i'm hoping really that you liked the lesson that you liked the process that you liked the live uh online lesson like this because i just um, want to remind you that it is my first time that i'm making the live lesson like this and i would be so glad if you write something in the comment section um well some feedback about the lesson that we have right now uh what are your emotions what are your expressions impressions and thoughts about the lesson do you like it or maybe you don't like it just write something um, so it will be really useful for me and I can then improve my improve my lessons uh, online lessons uh, like this so and of course if you are looking the lesson as a record also just write some words <laughs> some thoughts about the lesson in the comment section and uh, then I will understand what I need to do um, in the other way or maybe everything is fine so if everything is fine and you like the lesson also write some comments and I really appreciate it I really appreciate your feedback so uh, the next step of course uh, on this live uh, session today <laughs> is my presentation of the August subscription on Patreon. So I'm just waiting one moment, one um, minute and then I will continue. So if you are interested in uh, my lessons, if you like my approach and if you like the sketches that we do here in our school cool so i just uh, want you to stay and listen the details about my subscription and the details about the lesson that we are going to draw in august uh, so just one more minute and we'll switch to the presentation okay so of course, share your drawings on social media. We have our hashtag, the hashtag of our school. I will write it in the comment section right now. Uh, so use this hashtag and share your sketch uh, on Instagram or anywhere else where you have your social media profile. Just um, write the um, hashtag and I can see I can find your sketch and I can see what are the results of the lesson and what are the uh, maybe your thoughts if you write something on your Instagram about this lesson. Okay, so here is the um, hashtag. We have it in the comment section. Well, I have the comments. Yes, the lesson is perfect as usual. Thank you very much. Thank you for the uh, support. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So, okay. And now we are moving on to the presentation of the August subscription on Patreon. Just uh, one a moment and I will continue making the, uh, telling the details about the subscription. So, as you know, we have the subscription on Patreon. If you don't know, you can just now listen about my subscription and about the lessons that I'm doing there. I'm making there for the beginners, of course, and for absolute beginners, uh, it is really important. So if you are a beginner in watercolor sketching or even in drawing, the lessons are perfectly suitable because they are really detailed and interesting and the results of my students are really great. So what we are going to draw in August, I'm going to tell you some details. Uh, we have two plans in our subscription. So we have the absolute beginners plan and beginners plus plan. <laughs> I will tell you the difference just in uh, two moments later, maybe two minutes later, and you will understand what is the difference. So uh, we have six lessons 
Well, approximately six lessons, maybe less or maybe more, it depends on the month. And now, in August, we are drawing this beautiful sketches uh, like a duckling, peaches and lollipop candy. You can see the sketches are really bright and beautiful. And here is one detail. I'm using the kids watercolor on this uh, sketches on this lessons. Uh, because I know that the beginners and even the absolute beginners, they are sometimes, um, well, they are um, sometimes um, afraid to start uh, drawing because they need to buy some professional materials or some, um, I don't know, they can't afford the uh, professional watercolor or the paper. And here we have the lessons that are suitable for absolute beginners and you can actually buy any watercolor. You can just go uh, to your local store and buy any watercolor that you can find there and you will get the results like this. So I'm absolutely absolutely sure and I know this because um, all of my students, they are really, uh, well, um, they like the process, of course, and the lessons are really detailed and I'm making some, um, I'm giving the information about using the simple materials for a beautiful result. So, and of course, we have the lessons for beginners plus plan. These lessons, they are a bit more complicated, as you can see. Uh, we have the house, a little cozy house, and we have the sketch with a lantern and beautiful bouquet of flowers. And we have the sunflower here on this beginners plus plan. So. Uh, here are the lessons that we are drawing in August. So it is the absolute beginner's plan and the beginner's plan plus includes this lessons as well. So the absolute beginners um, includes three lessons right now in August. Three lessons, yeah, three lessons, yeah. And the beginner's plus plan um, includes six lessons right now, six lessons. So uh, what else is included in subscription? Um, and of course, we have some preparatory lessons for beginners, like uh, sketching materials lesson, uh, you know, that we need some details about the watercolor, the paper that I'm using and that I'm recommending for my students. And we have the detailed lesson about the materials that you need. Then, of course, we have the lesson about pencil and liner practice. Um, the lesson is very useful for your hand to get used to the material like pencil, liner, and I'm giving the um, useful exercises for you, for you as a beginner, of course. And we have the uh, useful and helpful uh, lesson about the watercolor practice for beginners. So if you need some um, beginner's guide for the start, uh, these lessons are perfect because they have uh, the information that is suitable absolutely for the beginners. And I'm sure if you made and if you watch uh, the uh, these lessons, you can draw beautiful sketches, of course. So practice is everything. If you practice a lot, you'll get beautiful results. So here are the preparatory lessons that we have in our subscription added. And of course, we have the past month's tutorials as well in our subscription on my Patreon. So you can see the lessons that we already have. Uh, so you can um, join the subscription and you can draw these lessons as well. We have for now 16 tutorials for absolute beginners and we have for now 32 tutorials for beginners plan, beginners plus plan. And I'm going to show you the sketches that we have now. So you see the um, themes are really different. We are making the a wide range of uh, 
different topics uh, we are making the beautiful and bright sketches on i don't know maybe on each theme actually <laughs> we are taking the food illustration food sketching the animals the plants trees uh, i don't know maybe some architecture lots of lots of different uh, themes and topics so we can see the house, the rabbit, the beautiful uh, decorated uh, cage with flower, the beautiful coffee pot with croissant. Um, well, I, I, I like the topics, I like the sketches, I like the themes, I like the watercolor sketching style. And if you also like the watercolor sketching style, you can join my Patreon and I will be so glad if you join. So we have the cupcake, the watermelon, the, uh, well, the perfume, the flamingo uh, sketch, the pizza, the landscape, the window, the sacred tree, well, lots, lots of different topics. So, um, okay, and of course the uh, whale. <laughs> I know the whale is really popular and I like the whales as well. So here are the lessons that we have already in my subscription on Patreon and you are welcome to join uh, my subscription, of course, and here are the plans that you can choose from. Uh, we have the absolute beginners plan. Uh, for five dollars a month um, what is included of course the materials video liner plus pencil practice video uh, watercolor practice video absolute beginners tutorials every month and past month absolute beginners plan tutorials as well and we have the beginners plus plan for ten dollars a month and of course the same thing materials video a liner plus pencil practice video watercolor practice video absolute beginners tutorials every month plus uh, beginners plus tutorials every month so um, this plan is actually uh, for some people um, who already have some a little more experience in watercolor or maybe in drawing but the absolute beginners plan is for absolute beginners so if you have never drawn before you can um, surely uh, join the absolute beginners plan and if you have some little experience or maybe a bit more experience than the absolute beginner so you can join the beginners plus plan and of course you can join my patreon and i will show you now how my patreon looks like for one moment so i will just switch to the browser like this so you can find um, my a link to the patreon on instagram or on youtube channel and here is my patreon and for now i'm having the plans of course that i have already told you about absolute beginners plan and beginners plus plan and of course if you want just to support me and support um, my um, creative activity you can support me for three dollars a month Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, if you are uh, watching the uh, video as a record, the uh, link for my Patreon will be in the description of this video. So in the description area, you can find the link to my Patreon. And of course, you can see what uh, are the materials that we have here already. You can just scroll a bit and you can... Um, see what we have there already so and of course now it is the time for the questions if you have some okay I'm going to switch to the questions that we well actually have the most frequently asked questions are the um, on the screen and where I can watch the lessons if you have this question I can 
well, just a simply um, answer that we have all of the lessons on my Patreon subscription. So you just go to the Patreon uh, website uh, via my link. Uh, you join to my Patreon subscription and you will see all the lessons there. So on the Patreon platform. Uh, the next question, what materials do I need for your lessons? So of course, we have the video about the materials and they are absolutely the same like the materials for this lesson. Um, like the materials that we have used to draw the beautiful dahlia flower, they are the same actually. The watercolor paper, the watercolor sets, uh, pencil, uh, waterproof black liner or waterproof boil, boil point pen, and the eraser, brushes, palette, uh, napkins, glass of water, and of course the white gel pen or white gouache. So the same thing, absolutely. And my favorite question, actually, I'm a beginner in drawing. Are the lessons suitable for me? Yeah, they are absolutely suitable. And um, well, actually, I have invented the <laughs> method of the lessons that will lead the absolute beginner to great result. So my students are really uh, well, I love the results of my students. I see how they um, study on my lessons, uh, what are the results, uh, what's their emotions, and what's the um, educational uh, part they are uh, taking from my lessons. Of course, my lessons are very detailed, absolutely detailed. I'm telling you every part of my movement that I'm doing on the lesson, what colors I'm mixing, what line I'm drawing right now with a pencil, or why I'm doing this, of course, I'm trying to give you some maybe uh, theoretical part a bit, but I don't want to overload you. That's why I'm giving you the enough information for your great result. And I think that uh, this is the great method and the great um, algorithm for your beautiful sketches. So I'm, well, actually 100% uh, sure that these lessons are absolutely uh, suitable for you if you are a beginner. So if you have um, some other questions, you can ask me in the comment section if you are online right now. And of course, if you are looking at this lesson as a record, you can write something, uh, your question or maybe your comment in the comment section, maybe or in YouTube or maybe um, in my Instagram, you can write something in the direct messages and ask me about my subscription, about, um, well, my method, maybe about the sketching materials. Well, actually about everything you can ask me and I will give you the answer. So I think that we have, uh, yeah, I see one question, actually, do I need to practice daily after I subscribe to Patreon? Well, uh, that's a great question, actually. And of course, I am for the everyday practice. <laughs> yeah. I try to draw every day. And I believe that the practice is the best thing you can do in your studying, in your education. But of course, I understand that people have too many things to do and too many other uh, important things to um, think of. And if you practice daily, that will be perfect. That will be perfect. But uh, I hope that you can find some spare time, maybe 30 minutes a day or maybe one hour a day. Um, not each day, not each day actually, but maybe two times a week. And if you draw with my subscription, of course, I'm sure that you will also get the results uh, that you need because the lessons, they are constructed in a way that they don't get uh, from you too much time. They don't demand the whole your attention of the day. So you can just, um, 
uh, use my lessons like a part-time hobby maybe and especially if you want to have um, maybe great time maybe with your family with your kids or maybe with your sister or brother or your mom or maybe with your grandmother if you need to have a great time you can use uh, my lessons as well for this activity but of course if you draw every day if you <laughs> practice every day it is the perfect it is the perfect thing but if you uh, subscribe to my subscri subscription <laughs> actually you can draw maybe for two times a week or maybe three times a week and that's enough that's enough so um what else i think that uh, all the questions are done for now and if you have some other comments i'm here to answer so um of course join us uh, let's draw and open a world of creativity creativity together with me uh, with the watercolor sketching style because again i want to say that the watercolor sketching style is perfect for beginners um, because it is a bright it is um, beautiful interesting and it is diverse because in watercolor sketching style you can use uh, any material any um, well any paint that you want um, not only the watercolor you can use the acrylic paints the um, uh, gouache paints you can use the white gel pen the liner and all the materials uh, will help you to make a beautiful and interesting and bright sketch so that is why sketching is absolutely for for me for everyone who wants to start a drawing with uh, um, uh, not just like the um, academic style but also like a beautiful and interesting and um, fun hobby so i think the watercolor sketching style is perfect okay so um i think that we should uh, now finish our meeting today our life lesson and i want you i want to remind you to leave some comments of course uh, to give me some feedback about this lesson and i hope you will join my patreon subscri subscription uh, you will uh, subscribe to my youtube channel or maybe to my uh, instagram account <laughs> and also i have now the threads account as well so just subscribe and let's um, well be in touch and draw beautiful sketches together so yeah i think that we should for now finish the live session right now okay so now i'm switching again to me yes okay so see you in my next lessons of course and uh, use the hashtag for your drawing that you have done with this lesson on instagram or on your other social media and i can see what results uh, you have i'm really very interested in your sketches and what are you making and drawing so okay see you in my next lesson